Hi guys, Lewis here, and welcome to the latest edition of Piranha Bites. So, um, very excited. Well, I am every week because, you know, new comics is like weekly Christmas. Um, but in particular this week, one of my all-time favourite writers, Jeff Lemire, new number one, May's book. Um, just read it, it's awesome. It's him at his depressing best, um, take that as you will. A real... I don't know if harrowing is too severe, but a, a real um, meditation on... Um, you know, a humdrum existence and sort of, you know, he, he goes through themes of, you know, how repetition is actually a death of oneself and you're not really living. And it's all about someone lamenting the death of their daughter. And he's in his fifties now is, um, really sad. And if I say any more, I'll probably tell you the whole story, but I can't recommend this enough. It, it proves my point that he's one of the best writers in current. Now that he's putting more stuff out again, he's probably going to be the my top writer in current comics. Sorry, Tom Taylor, but Jeff Lemire has got more of a track record with me. And speaking of Jeff, um, I, it's time for my golden oldie from the vault pick. Gideon Falls. Um, awesome horror book he did a few years ago. Um, I only finished like last year, I think it was. But like this is the volume one, the first trade. Excellent stuff. It's about a dude who um, just just got out of a psych ward after you know having himself you know kind of. You know, he's put himself back together in a way. And instead of, you know, acting like a normal person and getting on with his life, he keeps on raiding people's garbage for black wooden shards. It turns out they're all part of this black barn that he keeps seeing in his visions and his dreams. And, uh, yeah, th he needs to rebuild it to get access to the thing that has been tormenting the town of Gideon Falls since, you know, as long as time began. Um, re top quality horror book. Uh, really recommend it if you've not checked it out. And just slightly staying on the Jeff Lemire theme because he's pumping it out again. Unbelievable one teens if you two issue two. Um for the Black Hammer fans out there, that's another spin-off and it's the latest issue there. So check that out. And the second one I'd really like to highlight after my mini Jeff Lemire fest there. Dead Box issue one on Vault. Um another writer I'm a massive fan of, huge admirer, uh, Mark Russell. Um, I'll never forget the first thing I read of his was Lex Luthor, Porky Pig. And you're probably hearing, like, that, sh that has no right to be any good. And it was awesome. He used the issue as a platform to take a dig at the American pharmaceutical industry, of all things. Uh, I think the guy's a genius. And yes, this dead box is about um, a guy who's chosen as Earth's champion to go over to the nearest planet with sentient life. Um, it'll take him 52 years to get there, um, I think they say in it. And what they didn't take into account is how much he would decay and wither over that time. So this civilization, who's got a picture of him, they're all looking forward to seeing what Earth has to bring to their culture and their civilization, whatever. They're all primed and ready. And then this withered, old, haggard man with, you know, rank teeth and worse table manners comes out. And they're like, oh, thanks. And they just instantly send him right back on the ship. Which is really sad, because obviously the guy's been waiting 50 odd years to get there, and made a huge sacrifice to get there, obviously, as well. And uh, I, just like what I was saying about um, May's book, if I say any more, I'll give away the whole story, but definitely check it out. Mark, Mark Russell, another one of those top quality writers that you should definitely be um, reading everything with his name on. Uh, and then for the more regular stuff, Amazing Spider-Man issue 73, uh, Sinister War Continues, and Batman 112. Fear State starts, unless you count the, uh, the alpha issue they did as well. Um, Scarecrow has kind of gone a bit more above and beyond in terms of tormenting Batman. It's not Fear Toxin, he's actually kind of in his mind and controlling him a little bit. At least he thinks so anyway. Um, we'll find out more as we keep reading. Daredevil issue 34. Another one of those guys who's, you know, got a candidacy of being one of the, well, he's definitely one of, and it's not the Best comic writer out there. Um, I'm, st I'm sticking with Jeff Lemire. But Chip Zarsky's right up there in the mix. And Daredevil is one of the titles that makes me say that. Defenders issue two. Um, obviously Al Ewing. Everything he's touching is turning into gold at the moment. We'll see how he gets on with Venom. Because him and Kate's are switching titles. So Al Ewing will be going over to Venom. And Kate's will be going over to Hulk. After the Immortal Hulk ends at issue 50. So that'll be an interesting mix up. 
Um, for the mutant fans out there, Excalibur, not X-Men, Excalibur issue 23. Um, I wish I could say I was up to date on this stuff, but if you want to keep up to date with it, obviously read that. And also check out Christian's uh, little blog posts, um, keeping up the Cohen's, because I think he's about the only one that can. Um, Extreme Carnage Toxin, so that's the latest issue of Extreme Carnage. I really wish they did issue numbers for these things because it'd be a hell of a lot easier to follow. But this is part six of eight. So, not long to go till that end. Last book you'll ever read, issue two. Another vault. Um, a couple of weeks, or whenever the first one came out. I remember I highlighted this on my other Piranha Bites. Really awesome read. Um, really recommend. And it's Cullen Bunn. Cullen Bunn, who I keep on raving about. Him and Tinian are the guys for horror at the moment. So... Check that out if you've not already. And if you like the issue one, obviously, check out the issue two. And another surprise, Suicide Squad Get Joker issue two. I'm not a huge Suicide Squad fan, but the issue one of this really impressed me. So I encourage you guys to, well, if you checked out the issue one, obviously get the issue two if you liked it. If not, jump on the series. Suicide Squad are doing a lot for me at the moment because I enjoyed this series. And also the new film was really good as well, which I was quite surprised. Um, those are the highlights I thought I'd pick out for a complete list. Check out what Dave's got on our newsletter. See you guys next week. Piranha. 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 Piranha.